One of the things that constantly comes up at my clinics is uh, questions about double bass and double bass technique. And uh, it's something I've become very comfortable with because I've been playing double bass uh, for almost as long as I've been playing drums. And uh, I've always played with two bass drums. So uh, it's just something that's become very natural for me. It seems like it's a natural thing to do, that your left foot should also be, be as utilized as your right foot. Um, some of the advice I can give uh, on how to try to develop double bass playing and, uh, and be able to play it steadily, the very first thing I would recommend is to work with a click track or a metronome. And uh, Tama makes a thing called the Rhythm Watch, which I have mounted right here on my kit. And the Rhythm Watch actually is a very, very valuable tool. And uh, basically, you could pl uh, program or listen to quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes. You could program the different downbeats. It's a great, great tool for practicing any kind of grooves, but uh, for double bass, it's awesome. And uh, one of the most important things with double bass is to start slow. So many drummers sit down and they immediately want to start playing Slayer and Metallica songs, but you have to you have to start from the beginning first and start with those Motley Crue songs <laughs> and work your way up. And that's that's you know that's the way I developed. I started off learning just straight sixteenth note patterns, and then slowly as as time went on, uh, I would slowly kick up the metronome and bring it up and slowly start uh, to raise the tempo. And then, then I started to get more and more comfortable with the, uh, the, the quicker speeds. So let me break down for you just the most basic double bass pattern so you could sort of understand the way that it's uh, approached. Okay, I'm going to start with just a basic double bass 16th note pattern. And what I'll do is I'll start with just a single bass and then I'll show you how you could bring in the left foot uh, on the upbeats. And basically, if you were to be playing with a metronome, uh, if this was your quarter note, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the eighth notes would be, so that's what my right foot is going to be playing. My left foot is then going to come in on the upbeats. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. One, two, three, four. Anyway, what I was giving you an example of there was uh, you could see that I was bringing the left foot in and out. And when playing these patterns, I'll, I'll concentrate on my main kick, in my case, the right foot, always being locked in with that metronome, with the, with the downbeat, with the chord note, with the eighth notes. And um, no matter what the tempo is, I'll concentrate on my main kick being locked in. And... Uh, and what I was just playing, pulling my left foot in and out, you were able to hear that the right foot was always locked in. So let me uh, show you how you could start to mix it up and play different patterns. Like, for instance, we have a song called Under a Glass Moon off of Images and Words, and that's based off of these double bass patterns. Basically, I'm just playing uh, a straight beat. I'm going to show you how that beat sounds with only one bass drum, and then I'll show you what it sounds like with just a single left kick drum brought in, you know, every couple beats, how it completely changes the feel of the entire groove. So here's the under a glass moon groove with just one foot. So you could hear 
the under glass moon pattern with only one bass drum is really incredibly basic. In fact, it could be <laughs> the drum beat to an ACDC song. But as soon as you add in that left foot, now watch the completely different dynamic that it takes on. One, two, three, four. Drums fall, the bright sunsets give her to rise. 